All right, I've been waiting forever for this to arrive. As you can see, the box is huge. As most people mention online, approximately I waited eight days, you know, quite a while. Customs held on to it for a long time, considering the huge ass box. And yep, I'm pretty excited. This thing is freaking huge, a lot bigger than I thought. People weren't kidding when they were talking about the box was ginormous. So let's get this open. She was a lot cheaper than I thought. It turns out she's not my most expensive figure. So, you can just box open. And this was from May May if you're wondering. Yeah, this thing's. We got. I thank you for shopping with us. Whoa, look at that glare. Go. Your pre order has arrived safely. Hello, support me, Mimi. Thank you. And, oh, this is huge. <laughs> Move this aside. That makes room. Ten boxes on the floor because it's so big. All right. So you probably know what it is here. Obviously, judging from the title. <sighs> Waited so long for this. It was torture watching other people's pictures or seeing other people's pictures of her unboxing. Mind you, it's actually a lot harder to, to assemble than the other thing. So, as you can see, it's Madoka from Madoka Magica. And let me take the camera now and give you guys a closer look, real quick. Alright, so you got the box. The front is pretty much a clear window with some circle designs. Pretty interesting. And the top, also circle designs. See here, side view, and the back view, a whole bunch of pictures and shots of her, and the other side. Alright, so let's open it up and give her a closer look. Okay, let's see. I'm still trying to figure out where to put her, and this thing is so big, and my room's already running out of space as it is, so I'm gonna have to improvise or do something. Probably should invest into an uh, IKEA detail soon. My current display case is pretty full, basically. So, let's see you guys box open. There you go. Sorry for the camera view. The camera doesn't have that wide of a lens. So, bear with me. Let's look. I'm pretty sure it's mostly her wings. That's taking up so much space. Okay, I guess I'm actually still inside. Take a look at that. So, I believe one of these is for like a code to go on their online website, I don't know. And the instruction manual. Definitely gonna need this, considering how, or considering I read all those comments saying she was actually pretty difficult to put together. So, hopefully it won't be too hard. Shouldn't be. Doesn't take a Einstein and pretty much put this together. So you see a lot of accessories. One kind of bad thing I heard about her is that her one of her bow and arrow is kind of flimsy. So I'm gonna look into that. Let's see how it goes. I'm pretty sure there's some ties down here. Yeah. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna cut the video so I get do the ties first and come back to you guys later. Okay, that took a lot longer than I thought. There's basically five zip ties, if I remember correctly. It took me a good 10 to minutes to get them open. So, finally. Oh my god, there's one more I missed. Be right back. <laughs> okay, for sure it's it's finally out. That was like bajillion freaking zip ties. Alright, so let's get this open and make sure it falls out. Hold it, please. Let's see how I finally do this. So this doesn't take her out here. Okay, here we go, finally. So first off, we have one of her bowls. It's actually a really soft material, surprisingly. It's kind of like a branch, resembling a branch. 
little rose on top. Pretty cool. Little leaf. Put that aside. Most people are posing here with the flaming bow, which I would probably do the same. Just looks so much cooler. Because the branches are very fragile. So, let's see. Let me put that wrap in here. For a moment, okay. Holy, that's freaking sharp. <laughs> so, we got the flaming bow. These things are actually pretty freaking sharp, actually, it hurts. So, that's pretty cool. So, we got the two bows right there. And next up, we have the arrow, which is also very nicely detailed. Really high tier figure from Good Small Company. We have her mini wings or part of her wings. Two right here. We have the base. Um, the base is whatever. I mean, it's nice that Good Small did a fancy design on it. I'm personally not a big fan of the whole circle theme. I don't know. They could have went with something else to be honest, but that's just my opinion. But it's nice that they didn't just go with a plain base, you know. Considering this is a pretty big figure, I thought they would do something special for it, so that's nice. And last but not least, actually, you know what, hold on. She actually, this actually came in a separate box. So let me just open this real quick. Her main wings. So the good thing they zip tied a lot of the stuff, so it doesn't go all over the place when the shipping comes. Here's her main wings. These are really nice. They're actually clear plastic and then kind of fades into like a pink. It's pretty good. And last but not least, we have Madoka herself. Now, this is huge. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Pretty heavy. Hopefully she won't lean. Oh. Okay. So this is actually really heavy. Her dress. This thing, this bottom half is he freaking heavy. So basically her bow and arrow will go through here. So just a quick look. I'll give you guys a more closer detail look once I do the review. So till then, I'll see you guys next time.